Isaiah Miranda here, welcome back to the channel. As you guys may know, I finished my first bodybuilding uh, contest prep a little over two weeks ago. Dieted, struggled for 12 weeks to get absolutely shredded on stage for someone else's opinion. Did I place exactly where I wanted this place? No, I didn't. But before I put on a little bit more body fat and I lose the shreds a little more, I'm gonna get um, other people's opinions. Maybe they think I should've won or maybe they think I don't work out at all. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's get some opinions. So we're at the Grove right now, and it's um, actually a really nice day. But before we get um, opinions of everyone, remember, you know, everyone looks great. Everyone's gonna look different. You know, you shouldn't worry about other people's opinion on how you look as long as you look the best you can look and you're happy with it. That's all that matters. Chris, do you think I should have placed higher than fourth? I think it was a lot better than the first time. So you think I should have been fourth? Oh. That was a nice way of saying it. It's all good. There. It's all good. No, I definitely look better than my first competition. Yeah. So based on my physique, just looking if I was walking by, how often would you think I go to the gym? You go every day. That's the same. Twice a day. For a second, I thought you said two times a week, and I almost got really hurt. I was like, wait, wait, what would you? Rate at one to ten. Seven, eight. Are we nine. Do I hear nine? Oh, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. I never go to the gym. I go two to three times a week. I'm a gym rat, go every day, and I, or I'm a professional bodybuilder. Three times a week, maybe. Three times a week. <laughs> wow. Every day. I knew it. Every day. Too. Every day. Yeah. Oh, I think you guys are the best. All right, what would you rate my body one to ten? Uh, for me, it's too much for me. Is it really? Yeah. It's an eight. Eight? Oh, okay. You made up for it. <laughs> Found a fellow gym rat. Excuse me. Can I ask you a quick question? Because you look like you're in shape. You look like you're in shape. Oh, you're shit. You know Gianni? Oh, that's my guy. That's it, right? Based on uh, based on uh, my body and my physique right now, what would you think? I'm a gym rat. I go to the gym two to three times a week. I I'm a professional bodybuilder. I compete, or I never work out at all. Competition with the board shorts, not like. Oh, body. oh, physique. That actually. What I just did, I just competed oh, like really? two weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, what would you rate it one to ten? Nine five. Oh, this is my guy. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I, so, I just finished my first ever bodybuilding competition two weeks ago. Based on my physique, one to ten, what would you give it? Twelve. <laughs> Come on, you, you won't hurt my feelings. Well, let me get let me show you the apps. I'm not as lean. great. He's a 10. Here's the thing though okay. fitness competitions are really tricky because they really F with people's minds a lot. Oh, it does. My body dysmorphia is through the roof. Well, I help people in their relationship with food in their bodies, and I know that are like. Are you a coach? Yes, I oh, okay, am. Awesome. And so, like, I understand what it's like when people go through these things where their body fat percentage is really low, yeah. but their self confidence is at their worst, and you often sometimes feel your worst when you look your leanest. But uh, also, if you had way higher body fat percentage, you still would be too and you're worth it no matter what. No, that's a great message. That's Before we started filming the video, that's what I was saying too because I'm in good shape. Yep. But when you get so lean and then you start putting back body fat on, you're like, oh my God, I'm getting like, you think you're like way heavier than you are. Yes. It's unfortunate because it's those types of things that are completely unrealistic. Figuring out, okay, where do you feel your best? Where do you feel confident? Like, what does that look like? Sometimes the body fat percentage might be a little bit higher, yeah. but the self-worth is yeah. so much more important. And if you create that balance, you're yeah. able to actually sustain it and keep it for life versus yeah. going through these yo-yos and jumping on a stage and having people look at you and judge you on purpose. It's, yeah. There are very few people who can do that. They can go on a stage and be objective and be have it be a sport. So yeah. many people go into those competitions thinking that it's gonna help them feel more confident, but then yeah. they come out on the other side feeling worse. Subjective sports are tough. Yeah. It's not, I made 10 three-pointers. It's, yeah. what does this guy think of my body? What's your name? Uh, Kelsey. Kelsey, that was a great message, guys. Message of the year. Teamwork. Listen to Kelsey, guys. Teamwork. Yeah, you look great. Everyone, you guys, you look amazing. You guys, we're in the food court right now, and it smells so good. I literally want to eat everything, especially these spicy chicken and sandwiches right here. But this is really caught me off guard, because see the number right there, the boneless buttermilk fried chicken? I was reading it, I thought it said calories, 323 to three to 936. And then it said 9,436, and I was like, wait, what? There's no way, but I'm an idiot. It says call 32, it says the number. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a food court Olympics where we eat everything in the food court. Oh damn, can I sit? Oh, it's okay. I just finished a bodybuilding competition. What would you rate my body one to 10? Tim, you look good. Mm -hmm. Actually, that sounded like a petty, like, oh yeah, you look, you look all right. Yeah. Do you like dad bods more or like lean bodies? I kind of like the belly. Do you? Joel, come here. Come show me your dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. All bodies are good, but I might need to stop working out. All right, you guys both look like you work out. What would you guess? That I go to the gym a couple times a week, every single day, I don't work out at all, or I'm a professional bodybuilder? I'll say every day, but I skip, one skip a, a Probably the same. Have I ever competed? I don't think so. But you you look good. No, I'm not. Isaiah, get up, get up. Yo, yo, you actually came in first. You came in first. Did I make a mistake? Oh. I actually just broke my back. <laughs> what would you rate it one to ten? Nine. Oh yeah, you can leave it on. Chris, you, you can go afterwards with Chris though. Wait, what did wait, you wait, say? Wait, what did you say? Wait, what? I swear. Oh, I thought you said can I take my shirt off? I was like, hold on, I have a girlfriend. That's I still have the prep brain. What do you think I placed? Fourth. I say third or fourth. She must have watched my YouTube video. No, I didn't. Oh wow. Oh. 
What would you rate my body right now? One to ten. Ten. They're just hitting all the marks right now. Last question: Dad bods or fit bods? Fit bods. Fit bods. All the way. Because you guys work out, or just the way you prefer? Just because it's I just, work out. Yeah. I you want someone? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> you go first. That's how you know everyone here is Spanish. Everyone's like. My friend, she loves dad bods. She says it because it keeps her cozy. Chris, is that why? Chris is a strong boy, though. There's like dad in shape bods. But yeah. dad bods that don't work out, don't just, care what they eat, hell no. Based on my physique, just looking at me, right? Little, little flex. Okay. How many times a week do you then come to the gym? You're a gym rat. Gym rat, based off of the clothes you wear too, you can tell. Yeah. The funny thing is, I actually bought these clothes today just for the video. I never come to the gym. What would you rate it one to ten? Your physique or your, physique. your performance? My performance in what? I have a girlfriend. A nine. Yeah, I just finished a show two weeks ago. That's why I'm doing this video now. Because two weeks from now, I might be, I might look like not you. I wasn't gonna say you. But one to ten? I don't know. Show me the abs again. Not turn around. Though. Yeah, let's do the back. Nine, I feel really goofy right now. Nine? All right, last question. Dad bods or fit bods? If you're a dad bod, but you got a good personality, that's better than, than a fit bod. Really? But you're an asshole, then it's just enough. Well, you, well, you're kind of making it seem like all guys with fit bods are assholes. Because we know a lot of fit guys are assholes. Yeah, that's cool. Huh? I'm not an asshole. You're so low, my legs are dead. I'll just get a little lower. Okay. Based on my body, my physique, um, how many times a week do you think I come to the gym? Two to three? Four to five or every single day? Or I'm a gym rat and I live here. You're a gym rat. Yeah, what would you rate my physique? One to ten. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, that was a bad angle. You won't hurt my feelings. A number? I'll one give you uh, like an eight. Okay, so do you prefer dad bots or fit bots? Fit bots. Fit bots? Okay. I'll take it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 500k. We're almost there. Got a lot of responses. I feel like I look like a gym rat. And um, you know what a gym rat does after they hit leg day? They come to get sushi. So that's exactly what we're doing. I get sushi, I got two tuna cup rolls and a salmon cup roll because um, I need to fuel this body. And my body is responding to food so well. Also, before we end the video, like I said, look as best as you can look. Don't worry about other people's opinions. This is just uh, for... Your guys' pleasure, your enjoyment, and my pleasure, and my enjoyment too, because I like to, I actually like other people's responses. And it kind of makes it funny when it's like, they're kind of awkward about it. You can tell they're trying to be nice, but then they're also like, in their head, you're like, you can tell me I look like shit. It's okay. Kristen tells me I look like shit all the time, so I mean, it's fine. Subscribe to the channel, like I said. This is Joel's last day here. Say bye, Joel. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm missing that mustache every single day. You know what the funny thing is? Guys, comment down below if Joel also has a mustache because today he said, Noel asked him about his mustache and um, he was like, she was, because uh, you know how, he, whoa, I can't speak. Noel was asking Joel about his mustache and he's like, it's not that thick. And then she literally started dying laughing like, wait, Joel, you actually don't think you have a mustache? And then he, he's been looking at it and he's like, wait, it's gotten a lot thicker these last couple weeks. I'm like, look at it, show it. That's a thick mustache. It is thick. Guys, it's like... It's nice though. I can't grow it. I can't grow it. No, I mean, as long as it's... It, it's just real dark. Like, it, I just want him to know he has it. But if you like it, he's trying to grow... Yo, he has a lot of growing to go. But anyways, uh, that's going to wrap up this video. I love you guys, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.